Former President Donald Trump says he's a target in the Department of Justice's criminal investigation into efforts to overturn the 2020 presidential election. Trump saying that he has four days to report to a January 6th grand jury. KCAU 9 Washington correspondent Jesse Tenur has the latest in our top story at 10. President Trump accused the Justice Department of weaponizing the federal government against him. And some Republicans here on Capitol Hill said that exact same thing earlier today. But then on the Democratic side, they want prosecutors to be able to do their job. If you say something about an election, they want to put you in jail for the rest of your life. It's a disgrace. In Iowa Tuesday night, former President Donald Trump continued to call the Justice Department's investigations politically motivated. It's unbelievable. Some of the former president's biggest supporters in Congress were quick to jump to his defense after Trump said he could soon be indicted again, this time for his role in the efforts to overturn the 2020 presidential election. What Jack Smith is doing, he's weaponizing the Department of Justice against President Trump in a complete lie. Special Counsel Jack Smith's office is leading the Justice Department's investigation into any attempts to interfere with the transfer of power after the election. Trump posted on Truth Social Tuesday that he received a letter informing him that he is a target of the investigation. He received similar notice before his indictment last month in a separate investigation related to his handling of classified documents. It's time and time again. I think the American public is tired of this. They want to have see equal justice. Smith's investigation has gathered testimony from former Vice President Mike Pence, former Trump lawyer Rudy Giuliani, and local election officials. No one is above the law. Trump consistently denies any wrongdoing. But Democrats, like Rhode Island Congressman Seth Magaziner, say the legal process should determine guilt. He has a, a record of lying and cheating, and uh, it's catching up with him now. And prosecutors in Georgia are conducting a separate investigation into Trump's efforts to reverse the election results in that state. And they are expected to release at least some sort of charging decision next month. In Washington, I'm Jesse Tenor.